Hello folks, welcome back. Second week running the test on the uh, Highlander Hybrid with the lithium battery. Uh, I already made some small improvement on the circuit board. Basically, uh, the uh, power assumption of the circuit board is 10 times better than the version one. And that translates to around three plus year of shelf life for the lithium battery. That's plenty enough. And been driving the car for almost 500 miles now. It almost feels like this car is made for lithium. The acceleration is more snappy now, and the acceleration just fast and no hesitation. And also, the AC is running super cool compared to before. So I'm super happy with the results. I think this is e an even better candidate than the uh, the previous. The this is I think the platform is very suitable for the leasing upgrade. So let me show you around. Let me, uh, I already finished the light expectancy test as well as the EV range test. That's why I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, but um, I'm just show you the battery, the good old lithium battery is still in there. Nothing changed in s except the uh, circuit board. So uh, looking very f looking forward for the long term testing. And that's, uh, without further ado, let's just roll the tape and show you the result of the testing I run for the past week. Stay tuned. All right, folks, this is the uh, 2007 Toyota Highlander Hybrid with the uh, Nexel Lysium prototype. Uh, this is a day three. We fixed some software bug. Well, not software, but the uh, circuit board, we found some issue, we improved it. So everything's good now. The board is different, it's very minor. Uh, I'm going to run a live expectancy test on this uh, prototype to see where we're at. Okay, so first thing to do, live expectancy test. Adjust the dial. <laughs> oh, too low. Lower the temperature gauge. take a long time Right, we are at 40.5 or 40% SOC, so the engine should kick in at any time and terminate the test. Then we'll see the results. Here we go. 108 point, that's 109% capacity left. Yep, of course. Cool. So the prototype Pass the life expectancy test. Awesome. Today we are testing the EV range on the Highlander Hybrid Lithium Power. Let's make sure I have the car in um, already charged up. Let's see. Okay, already going to step two means the battery is fully charged. So let's go ahead. Odometer already reset. Okay. 
and uh, handbrake. Oh, there's a car coming. This is the exact same route. And let's see what the uh, Highlander can do. This is the first time when you're watching the show, you should know this is the usual route I do for EV range test. Uh, the reason I picked this place is because it doesn't have stop sign, so I can go around. But it does have the elevation change, so right now it's downhill. Then I'll make a uh, right turn, it will be coming uphill. So it's a pretty challenging course. <laughs> Alright, here we go, the, down, the uphill. The challenge will be keeping the uh, the engine from kicking in. Again, this car doesn't have the EB button. The battery discharge at 20 amp. That's very good. And this is the end of the uh, uphill session. Once again, going back to downhill. Right now we are at 0.7 miles. The outside temperature is around 78 to 80 degree today. I have the AC turn on at low. Tire pressure is around 33 psi. We're at 1.3 miles. It's OC at 61%. We still have a long way to go. We are at 2.2 miles. We're at 2.6 miles, SOC at 52%. We are at 3 miles, SOC at 49%. We're at 3.5 miles. Stay of a charge, 46.5. Alright, 3.7 miles. It's OC 44. We are at 4 miles. It's OC 43.5. We are at 4.5 miles, SOC 41.5. We are at 5 miles. I think this is a record. SOC 42. Yeah, the engine kick in. It doesn't let me go below 41% or 40.5%. Right, so we are at around 5.4 mile. I would say 5.3 is the time that the engine kick in. So that's a pretty good result. I'm very impressive. 5.3 miles. 
EV range only. All right, that concludes our test. I will continue to do more torture testing and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Here we have it, folks. I'm very happy with this old Highlander pass all the test with flying colors. So next step will be more torture test. And then I'm going to uh, very soon go into production, which is always a problem because like Elon Musk said, prototype is easy, production is hell. All right, so uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, if you like the content, definitely subscribe and uh, share it with your friend and family. I see you at the next one. Cheers.